Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Marie is off tonight. And CBS 2's Jessica Schneider is following the new developments on the Belgium terror attacks. She joins us now here on set. And Jessica, we did learn that these attacks were originally planned for Easter Monday. Yeah, Christine, you know, investigators believe that last week's arrest of Salah Abdesalam accelerated the timing of Tuesday's attack in Brussels. Tonight, police in Paris have arrested one man they say was plotting an unrelated terror attack in France, while raids right now are ongoing in several Brussels neighborhoods. A city under siege after Tuesday's attacks, police swarming the streets in Brussels, searching apartments and making six new arrests. But at least two men continue to elude investigators. This man seen wearing a hat and pushing a luggage cart at the airport. Police believe he dropped a massive bomb in the terminal before taking off. Another man was spotted on surveillance video at the metro station holding a large bag. While the search for those men continues, we're learning more about the attackers. Two brothers, Ibrahim and Khalid Al Bakari are on a U.S. terrorism watch list. Both died in the airport and metro bombings. Interpol issued a red level arrest warrant for Khalid in December when Belgian police connected him to one of the hideout apartments used to plan the Paris attacks. Ibrahim, arrested by Turkish security forces last summer when he was caught trying to sneak into Syria, he was deported to the Netherlands and eventually got back to Brussels. Video shows the chaos and devastation inside the departure terminal Tuesday. Morning. I'm thinking I, I gotta make it. I gotta make it. I gotta make it. I gotta make it. I gotta see my daughters again. I gotta, I gotta see my girls. Michigan resident Sebastian Berlin was sent flying more than 50 feet through the air. The bombing is also believed to have killed a brother and sister from New York, Alexander and Sasha Pingzowski. Their parents saying Thursday night they are not listed among the injured at any Brussels hospitals. Wyckoff, New Jersey native Ashley Bergerman was in Brussels for work, and she says her decision to get to the airport. 30 minutes early saved her since she was already well past security when the explosion sounded. I thanked every guardian angel that I had that kept me safe that morning. And despite the raids happening overnight, Belgian officials lowered the country's terror threat level one notch on Thursday, but warned another attack is possible and likely. Christine. All right, Jessica, thank you.